While the vaccines provide so much hope, the rollout has been a dismal failure thus far. President Joe Biden signed several executive orders aimed at tackling the coronavirus pandemic. Among them, an effort to vaccinate 100 million people in his first 100 days. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. And I'm Phil Sanchez. Thank you for watching us here at 11 o'clock. News 8's Demi Johnson joins us now with how President Biden plans to make it happen. Demi? Yeah, the president's plan starts with setting up federal vaccination sites in every state. And we don't know yet how that will impact the state supply and eligibility of those wanting to get vaccinated. What we do know is FEMA is working to get the sites up and running right now. At the same time, the CDC is in the process of launching the federal pharmacy program to make vaccines available at places like CVS and Walgreens. President Biden says part of the campaign also includes broadening the pool of health care workers who are able to administer the vaccine, as well as ramping up production. Groups like the Indiana State Teachers Association hope the president's plan will allow them to get vaccinated quicker. We hear the most from teachers, but we're also hearing from other educators in the field that they are extremely concerned that they are not in line right now to get vaccinated. It's unclear if people who want to get vaccinated will be able to use the federal sites to bypass the state's current plan. President Biden also warns the United States death toll will likely surpass half a million by next month. He says his goal is for 100 federal vaccination centers to be operational within the next month. In studio, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Demi, thank you. Meanwhile, state leaders are unsure when they will be able to open up vaccinations to the next group of Hoosiers, Wish TV's Dan Klein reports. It's a result of a weekly supply, which has held steady, but not increased. That weekly total for Indiana, anywhere from 78 to 80,000 doses a week. But with hundreds of thousands of Hoosiers in the next age category, as well as no federal stockpile of the vaccine, as was initially promised, it's not clear to state officials when they can further open it up. My number one rule is do not cancel appointments. And with that in mind, Indiana is not allowing additional age groups to sign up to take the vaccine. You still have to be 70 plus. State leaders say it's a matter of numbers. Roughly 80,000 doses coming each week, about 350,000 Hoosiers in their 70s. And there's a similar number who are 65 to 69 years old. We want to protect our most vulnerable Hoosiers, and age has been the biggest contributor to hospitalizations and deaths from COVID. Making matters more complicated, federal health officials said last week they had kept a stockpile of vaccine in reserve then reversed themselves, saying it had already been given out to states. So while Indiana was in the early stages of planning to ramp up its capacity, those plans were put on hold indefinitely. We are committed to providing a vaccine to any eligible Hoosier who wants one. At the same time, we need to ensure that we have second doses available three to four weeks after the first dose is administered. Health leaders said Thursday there are 286,000 doses ready to be administered, along with 270,000 appointments which have already been scheduled, leaving just 16,000 doses which have not been called for. And they added just about every appointment has been booked out for the next couple weeks. The system we have in place is to ensure that we don't have to do what other states have done cancel vaccine appointments due to no doses available. So while you may be frustrated at the availability of appointments, you can rest assured that our goal is to ensure that there will be a dose for you when you arrive. Well, initially, state leaders said the next age category would be anyone in their 60s. On Thursday, they tweaked that to say 65 and up in part to make sure that those most at risk of complications and death could get the vaccine when it opens up. But again, no one is sure exactly when that will happen. Reporting outside the State House, Dan Klein, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook. Dan, thank you. Eli Lilly and company says its antibody drug can prevent COVID-19 in nursing homes. It's the first major study to show an antibody medication may prevent the virus. The study looked at more than 1,000 residents and staff in nursing homes. According to Lilly, those who got the drug had up to a 57% lower risk of contracting COVID-19. In nursing home residents only, there was up to an 80% reduction in risk. U.S. regulators approved the drug last year for emergency use in patients that do not require hospitalization.